Next up is a recent alumnus of the School of Art in the graduate program. You can see him in back there, and his name is Dan Wilcox, and his project Onward to Mars is a live audiovisual astronautical rock opera that takes you on a journey to discover the music of the Red Planet. The project was part of the Community Supported Arts Performance Series at the New Hazard Theater. Thank you, Dr. Levin. No doctor. <laughs> Close enough. Um, I'm here to talk to you about uh, Robot Cowboy Onward to Mars. I'd also like to thank the studio for uh, helping fund, well, I'll get to that later. I, I'd also like to thank my esteemed colleague in astronomical visualization, uh, Rob Godshaw, for presenting the uh, project earlier. So this is Robot Cowboy Onward to Mars, um, which is essentially a project about humanity going to Mars, not um, in science fiction, but in the near term. Um, it's essentially built upon the idea of making the next version of my performance project called Robot Cowboy, um, mixing it with some Devo, some Laurie Anderson, uh, some Carl Sagan, uh, all up on a cocktail on the Red Planet. So NASA's been uh, thinking about leaving the solar system, uh, leaving this planet for quite a while. Um, even back in, as you can see down here, Marshall Space Flight Center 1969, there were plans uh, to extend the Apollo project to take uh, humans to uh, planets in the inner solar system. Uh, but of course, 40 years later, that didn't really happen, as we have Buzz Aldrin, second man on the mood here, questioning, you promised me Mars colonies, instead I got Facebook. What's going on? So this project is about looking at humans going to Mars. This is actually a plan called Mars Direct, which says we can go to Mars in 10 years if we decide to put 2% of the budget and only do that. And there's also a, a private organization called Mars One, which basically says, why don't we send people to Mars now, within the next five years or so, even in the 2020s. Uh, the main reason to make this possible is that we don't plan, plan, uh, plan to bring them back. And what does that mean? And perhaps maybe this is the beginning of a new human evolution. And one question I like to ask and I like to explore is, would you go? So technical side, I'm starting with my Robot Cowboy project, which is basically a one-man band wearable um, audiovisual system, kind of like a computer rock man. Um, and the old setup was a wearable computer running uh, Linux and pure data for all the audio uh, in and out, hooked up with a sound card on sort of like a big Batman utility belt. Uh, and now I'm switching that uh, setup over into a spacesuit. Uh, and now the Batman utility belt becomes a portable audio support system. And that is actually what I would like to thank the studio for directly supporting, was the foundations of building my personal audio support system which you can see here in the spaghetti of wires because, hey, that always looks cool, right? It's basically a similar setup. We have an Udo uh, embedded Linux board running pure data. We have all the connectivity, USB. We have sound in and out. We have a fan which supplies life-giving oxygen to my helmet. Um, we have a uh, personal battery supply and switchable power. Um, so all of this com com uh, culminated on February 8th at the New Hazlitt Theater. It's a black box theater on the north side. I always, uh, through the help of the studio, I was chosen to be one of the uh, Community Supported Art uh, Series performers this last year. Um, we have a mission patch, as you can see here. We have a, uh, this is my swag series. We have a bumper sticker, both of which you can buy from me later. Um, and I was very, very lucky to be, uh, to be supported to do a, a project in this theater, which gave me a 30 by 30 uh, projection screen. Uh, we began with a, before the mission began, we began with a mission press conference. Then uh, the journey to Mars and its uh, basic philosophical context, of course, chosen through, uh, shown through spoken word and song with different, different backdrops. We even had our own uh, version of the bubble, except this time it was a uh, giant inflatable nose cone made out of mylar, which you can light from the inside. And um, yeah, basically, since I can't really show you the audio, five minutes I can't show you the audio of the video, I'll be working on that and putting it online very soon. This is a song about um, how when we get to Mars, we will we'll be at the pinnacle of our technology only to cycle back around again and become cavemen, digging around in the dirt and trying to live in caves and survive. This was a uh, reading of a cosmic radiation, a special instrument. Um, this is when I almost ran out of air. It was very poignant. <laughs> And this is when I resurrected and played the Song of Mars. So yeah, that's, this, that's a short synopsis of the first mission. Um, through the documentation and the support from the New Hazlitt and the studio, 
uh, I'll be getting all this stuff online into a press kit, um, and then I want to shop it around and try and take this uh, out on tour. And so far, from the people that I've shown it to, they've been pretty interested. So uh, thank you, Golan. Thank you, Studio. Uh, thank you, everyone.